There's a soundtrack for all occasions, and the right music can spur you on during your IPPT. But no, we're not talking about the gym favorite Eye of the Tiger. If you want to rock your running socks off, there can be only one kind of music heavy metal. Let's talk about motivation when you're during the test itself. Is there any kind of, for example, some people have a soundtrack, a particular music in your head? It's possible, it's possible. Or it's all up to the mental, mental right. strength. The, the zoning, they, they, in some of the uh, sports competition, they talk about zoning. Just trying to stay focused on the particular event that you're trying to do and give your best. Right. For yourself, do you have like any particular music which you listen which you listen to when you're working out? Lincoln Park. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why? Um, the beat is there. Right. The regular beat is there, so it's, it's really bring up the the, the, the the movement itself. Even the another song that I, that I like is always the Eye of the Tiger. Right. Yeah. So you, you remember like Sylvester Stallone was wow, he's really working out so hard. That really motivate you to, to, to do the same as well. No surprises there. But apart from introducing everyone to a great workout song, Rocky is also responsible for this. Yes, devouring raw eggs. Okay Sam, yes, could you debunk us some myths okay. on diet for IPPT? Okay. But some people feel that like take raw eggs is a good thing. Is it? I... When you're training for IPPT? I would say the raw egg wise is considered as a protein intake. Uh, anything over or anything under is also no good. Uh, I would say that uh, training wise you still need to your nutrition. Uh, I would say that the egg protein do provide the nutrition. But it will not enhance your performance on that day itself. La. How about like if you drink like a uh, Stockholm and Red Bull on the day of the test itself? Uh, Red Bull wise, the content wise they're referring to wise is basically caffeine stimulant to help you stimulate but then the requirements wise is quite a high dosage. So it's, I would say that that myth wise is also not uh, true. Not yeah. How about brands essence of chicken? Um, I would say that this wise we will... I would say that all these are not true. It, it, it really depends on your normal days of training that you have. So right. you must have a strong base or foundation from your uh, basic exercise. Uh. You can't right. be expecting to say that uh, you have never, never run the 2.4 before and you down three bottles of essence and you hope that you will be able to pass your 2.4 kilometer run. Right. It won't right. be possible. Sure. Okay. Okay. So for the day of the test, what kind of a diet should a regular guy... I would say yeah. to, uh, look into three areas. Hydrate yourself properly, uh, nutri nutritional intake in terms of uh, carbo, uh, carbo loading, in terms of brown rice, banana, etc., and get a lot of rest as well. Okay, then you'll be more prepared for the test. Right. Okay. Okay. So, when training for your IPPT test, right? How far in advance should you start training, and when should you stop? Like, should you stop one week before your test date, the day before? Or? I would say the uh, ACSM rec recommendation requirements at least three days of rest. Yes, before before your before your test date itself. Like. But uh, how, when to start training, I would say that depends on the person, uh, basic physics. Okay, it might be three months, it might be six months. So now, you've got the tips and advice from the experts on how to pass your IPPT.